Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to start the journey of exploring features inside Neon, the fantastic audio editor from 4Pocket and um, truly amazing Paul keeps adding new features and the one I'm going to show you today is really, really great. So before I start, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe as that helps with growing the channel. So let's start. I'm inside AUM and let's create a new audio channel and let's choose as an audio input Digistick 2, like so. Let's open up Digistick 2. Let's click the OS to sync so that we can um, use the navigation controls inside the UM to control Digistick and let's create something like a simple pattern using bass drum and snare. Let's click play. Nice and simple. Now let's add the um, audio editor from Full Pocket and here, here it is. Right, let's assume that you want to record that um, input source as Digistick 2 and let's assume that you want also to record precisely 4 bits why 4 bits? it could be also 8 bits, it doesn't really matter but I just wanted to show you how you can precisely record that so first of all make sure you are um, using bit um, as measure here you can choose hours, minutes and seconds but also bars and bits so let's ensure we have bars and bits there let's enable the sync so that um, Neon will uh, listen to the AUM host to start the recording. Then let's click and hold on record to show this menu. And where it says here record length limit disable, click on it. Then let's select how many bits we want to precisely record. So in this case, four, and let's click set limit. Next, let's activate the recording, pressing on record once, and let's click play. Now let's stop AUM from play. As you can see, um, Neon has recorded only precisely four bits, although Digistick was still playing. So let's deactivate the sync. Let's um, click and hold on the loop to select the entire um, recording and to make that into a loop. Let's click play. Really nice indeed. Let's zoom in, pinch in like so. Yeah, it's perfect. Normally I check uh, at the end here to see if um, the end is nicely done, which in this case is okay. Okay, that's perfect. So um, I could have actually recorded it a little bit better. I'll tell you what, because I haven't got back to right to the beginning. So let me click on the menu, let's select the new recording and let's select abandon changes and then stereo. Now let's activate again the, oops, let's activate the sync, let's go back to the beginning like so in AUM and also on Digistick. Let's ensure we have the set limit of 4 bits, yeah, and let's activate um, um, recording. Again, abandon changes, perfect, let's click play. Perfect. Now you can see that um, the recording is precisely at the beginning with the bass drum and that is what was really missing because after I played initially in Digistick I didn't go back to the beginning of the pattern. Now you can also see at the end here if I zoom in that there is the beginning of the next sample, the bass drum. So let's remove that. Click and hold here on the measurement to select that um, um, part, then go to operation and set clear perfect so let's click and hold loop and let's click play oops let's uh, remove sync and let's click play let's click hold again and let's click play and let, actually let's click zoom zoom to fit right perfect so Right, let's go to the media bay, let's click on save and let's give it a name. So let's call these uh, drums one and let's click save. Perfect. Now I would like to close these and go to the standalone version of Neom. Because in the standalone version, 
pole is just added the ability to actually use a UV free plugin, which is fantastic. Let's click on Media Bay. You can see drums one here. Let's select it and let's click load. So let's um, set the loop and let's click play. Perfect. And again, you can shrink it a little bit, re enable the loop so it doesn't have to scroll. Now, let's go to operation here, click and hold to access very quickly the list of effects and look at the bottom here, you have external AUV free plugin. So let's select that. Now, let's ensure that we have a preview selected so you can hear the uh, a preview of the effect. Let's select the NAUV free and let's select phaser. And let's try. Oh, isn't it this great? So let's click apply effect. Perfect. Now let's select uh, Alti Space 2 and um, let's select uh, something shorter than these whole R5, perhaps the, uh, that is 2.2 seconds. Let's go for this small hole and let's click set and let's click play. Hmm. Oh, let's click preview. Really nice, I like that. Click apply. Let's close. Okay. So I have applied the reverb and also a phaser. Now let's click on operation and let's select normalize to minus six decibel and let's see what it sounds like. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. It's really fantastic uh, having all you, your AUV free plugins now that you can apply to um, to your waveform that you're editing inside uh, um, Neom as an audio editor. It's really, truly amazing. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.